Hey James. Yes? I'm reading over the manuscript and I think I'm starting to notice sort of a trend. Trend? It's just that you have a lot of characters with names that sound really similar. Well, there's going to be a glossary at the back of the finished book to help readers keep the characters straight. No, but I'm, I'm not just talking about the main characters, I'm talking about side characters. Like, in this chapter I was just reading, there's like 15 different Aes Sedai whose names all start with S. Like, Seren and Seonid and... Oh, you mean the chapter with Serene, Serene, Seon, Seonid, Sheriam, Shemarin, Shivan, Seeren, Sylviana, Swan, Swana, and Saritha? Yes, exactly. Well, what's the problem? What's the pro... They, how is anyone supposed to tell those characters apart? They all have names that look and sound almost exactly the same, and most of them are minor characters. No, no, they're all important to the story. I'm having such a hard time telling these characters apart that I literally can't even parse out what's happening in the chapter, let alone its relevance to the broader story. Really? Yes. Well, it's perfectly simple. It starts out when Swan finds out that Swana stole her stole. Okay, first of all, why would you have two separate characters named Swana and Swan, and why would you ever have them interact? No, no, they're different characters. Yeah, I know they're separate characters, but what I'm saying is that people are going to get them mixed up. But anyway, you were saying Swana stole Swan stole? Yes, that's right. Swana stole Swan stole, so Swan, seeking Seeren and Seren to assist her, goes to scold Swana and sees back the stolen stole. Wait, why did Swana steal her stole? Well, because yesterday, Swana and Sian were swimming in South Harbor while Shashel was selling seashells by the seashore. When they approached Shashel, Shashel sold them six seashells, then said she suspected Swan of shoplifting. So Swana and Sian swore to make Swan suffer for the scandal. What? How is any of this relevant to the broader plot? Hold on, hold on, I'm getting there. So meanwhile, Sheriam and Shemarin were sitting in a shoeshine shop, sewing, when a surprise Seonid spots them through the shutters. So Seonid seeks out Saransha and says where she saw Sheriam and Shemarin, suspecting them of severe sedition. But then, Saransha and Seonid found Swana and Seon scouting out spare shawls in a shop called Sue Silk. Okay, okay, James, James, look. Th there's too much going on here. What, what, what do you mean? Too many S's. Nobody's going to be able to keep track of any of this. Well, it's not my fault that so many I said I happen to have names that start with S. Yes, it is. All I can say is that this plotline sets up important things for books later on. Then why are you throwing in so many tongue twisters? Tongue twisters? Selling seashells by the seashore? Sitting in a shoeshine shop? Is this some sort of a joke? Hmm. Well, if it makes you any happier, you'll be happy to know that this is the only chapter in this book about this particular plotline. The next chapter is a parent chapter. Oh, and I suppose you have parent picking a peck of pickled peppers? James? Uh, um, James, he doesn't actually pick a peck of pickled peppers, does he? Well, he does pick a peck of pickled peppers. James! It's important to the plot. <sighs> I should have gone into romance or something.